control and coordination. Now first, what do we mean by control? Sometimes if you are a monitor, your teacher must have asked you to go and control the class. Many teachers talk in terms of it's becoming so difficult to control students. Even at home, when sometimes you have been continuously watching TV or you have been on your computer, then who intervenes? Your parents. They try and restrain you. So what is control? Control is nothing. It's not a bad word. It only means to restrain. By controlling, we can stop, slow, expedite or start a process. It's something like brakes. You have your car, you love the speed and if the driver is driving at the speed of say 200 kilometers per hour, what will happen? Surely there will be accident. Now, even if he is slow, uh, driving very slowly on a highway and other vehicles are moving at a very high speed, then also there is a problem. So, there is an accelerator, there is a brake. In life also, same things are there. You cannot go on at same speed. There has to be a control and this is what is control in the body also. And second thing is that not just controlling, also making every activity happen in a harmonious and regulated fashion. Say you know your monitor in the class, what does he do? He is kind of a connection between you all and the teacher and he helps the teacher to do many activities. So in a way he is helping to coordinate. The word coordinate is made up of two words. Co means joint. Coordinators means to regulate. So, this is a regulation which is not in isolation, but it is regulation of all activities happening simultaneously. Let us take the example of school. School does not mean only studies. There is morning assembly, there are house activities, there are inter school competitions. So, how does it happen that everything happens at right time without creating a chaos? Who is doing all this? There is a hierarchy, there is a principal, vice principal, there are teachers, house masters, class teachers. So all this helps to regulate. In our body also, there are two systems which help in controlling and coordinating. One of them is nervous system. And second is endocrine system. This is also called nervous coordination and this is chemical coordination. Largely we associate life with movement. Anything that is moving we say is alive and we have also understood that in life processes it is the movement of the molecules. Now why does this movement occur? In case of plants largely the movement it can be also because of growth. Let us take the case of a seed. This is a seed. We put it in the soil. The root comes up, the plumule goes up. It pushes the soil and it comes out. A movement has taken place. But this movement is because of growth. If this seed does not get water and it is not able to grow, then this movement of will not take place. But in case of animals, the movement is not only because of growth. There can be many other things also. Have you seen a cat running after a mice? That is also movement. What is it for? Food.